Hey Aries, welcome to 2019 Yearly Read, the Ministress of Magic. It's a little bit of Palo Santo, pre-shuffled. Before your reading, I did Cancer. The shuffle and the card pulling was very slow and mellow and grounded. Now it was very fast-paced, jumping everywhere wanting to be here and there at the same time. It's going to be a fast pace year, Aries. I can feel it for you. And you're going to be tempted to move fast and furious. I need us to practice, practice even before I even opened the cards. I didn't see the cards. I was very loyal to the process. But I already sensed things from when I shuffle. Just the way I shuffle, the way the cards fall down. Something, it's like the, an energy of wanting to control things, wanting to do things your way. You're an Aries, that's great, and also it makes sense. Um, but there's, the, the challenge here is to be able to stop and listen and breathe because I had a little bit of sudden back pain and I did a wrong movement with the way I sat and like I feel a little bit of joint pains for you guys maybe. You guys need to watch your movements. Don't push yourself. I know you like to push yourself to your li limits. You are very strong. But I want the fire in you to give you life this year and it most certainly can and should. I need you to not stand in your own way by not being able to stand still. Does that make sense? Sometimes you have to wait. Nature does things a certain way. A tree, if you overwater it because you want it to grow faster, you'll only kill it. I need you to learn how to listen from the heart and not just from the gut wanting to do, to create. It, it's, it's covering for something, Aries. I'm feeling like your need of constant action right now, specifically with those who are listening to me in year of 2019. And this is probably something that exists in you your entire life, but it will come out very strongly in 2019. It is covering for something. There's a need to prove yourself, to show that you can do and win, which is amazing. That's how you achieve so many things. But you have to control it and not let it control you, therefore forcing you to try and control reality and situation and other people. Control thyself and thy movements. I need you to practice breathing in 2019. Being mindful to your movements and to your actions. And if you encounter roadblocks, try to change your perspective. And instead of seeing a roadblock, sorry, look at it as a road sign. Maybe there's something there that you're guided towards that if you were allowed to go here, it would harm you in a way. We can't always see the big picture. We can't always see the big picture, okay? So you have to understand that in comparison to the universal spirit and to this life, we are ants. We can't always see what what is ahead. So don't um, um, punch walls when you know it's only going to make you bleed. Wait to the right timing, look for a crack, be smart about it, okay? So that's some, that's come right off the bat, just kind of channeling the energy for 2019. Now let's get to the cards. <laughs> I'm being directed to start with the conclusion of the year. This is the 13th pile. Um, so far for Virgo and for Cancer, I first did it by the month and then I saw the uh, conclusion. I feel like I want to see... And I want to call the significator. I'm going to see this and then I'm going to open by the month, okay? It's like... There'll, there'll be something up your butt, <laughs> excuse my language, like that makes you always like wanting to be on the go. But it's not something that gives you fire and energy. It's actually something that itches. It's like, it's like when you're sitting and you, you want to stand up, not because you have energy and you want to stand up, but because there's... There's something nagging you in the pillow, okay? It's just that you don't know that that's what it is, so you 
you think it because you want to be active, but it's actually something deep inside of you, like a thorn that is just stuck there. I don't know if it's from childhood or something psychological, something karmic maybe, that makes you always feel like you have to prove yourself. It is, it is your Achilles heel, Aries, not your benefactor. Maybe it, it served you for a long time for certain things, but this time in 2019, this can be your Achilles heel, your weakness. So remember what I'm saying right now. If you're tempted to fighting bat battles that you might not need to fight, if you just sit them out and allow things to play out, and then it will just resolve itself in a way. Okay. Of course, Tulisas, Thor, Thor's hammer, Thor is also thorn, <laughs> and this is ego and winning, and a lot, it's very Mars energy, so it really, really resonates with what I'm saying. I'm very happy that it's, in, it's upright. It means that you're, you're gonna, you're gonna accomplish, you're gonna succeed, you're gonna achieve, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. But here's the thing, you're gonna do it either way. Choose your battles, okay? And this is being channeled. Let's see the cards, but I need to assess to be balanced for you guys, okay? And not forced on others. Control thyself, not thy other. All right. Amazing. The lovers. Three of swords element of chalices being the element of water this deck adds cards that are the elements not it's not the ace it's like the embodiment of water okay love and emotions are the thing that needs to lead this year healing a heart whether it be it your heart whether it be it a, um, a, a significant other heart and to assess here that's your challenge See this three of swords here? She's like hugging her knees and there's like swords in the heart. It's pain and agony. It's heartache. And see this angel here holding the swords? It's the after tarot. And here the couple underneath are already touching each other and approaching each other. So a choice has been made or is going to be made relatively in the beginning of 2019. 2019 is about a choice being made, a choice of love, of the heart, okay? That's the guidance, because I have the element of water. Choosing the heart, not the ego. Oh my God, now I understand why all this channeling came and what it's supposed to mean and why they were shuffled the way they were shuffled. Some of you have ego and wanting to prove yourself that is really holding your back from healing a heart either yours or another and probably it's the same because we mirror each other you are given an opportunity to take the sword off of someone's heart and release them look Look at this um, feminine here, and look at her here, how different that is. And this is, the heart is water, okay? Here, it's like swords, the mind is trying to, the mind is hurting the heart, overthinking, worrying, aching. And here, it's like the mind is releasing the heart. Don't let the mind determine the path of your heart, okay? Don't let your ego Thor, the hammer, the thorn inside of you from your childhood or from something inner, deep, that is holding you back from releasing this energy of flow and inspiration and love and purity and renewal. This is the year where you release yourself from the thorns in your heart. You're freeing yourself. Like the swords are being taken out of the heart and you're free to swim in the realm of your inside without fear. Why do people sometimes fear water and the ocean and swimming and, and, and um, diving? Because 
water is the subconscious it's our childhood it's our most inner emotional realm if we're afraid of our heart and of our emotions and of our past and our subconscious, we, we can it can translate as fear of water. And then we try to control it and step away from it and only focus on what we know best, which is the sword, the mind. This is when you jump deep, Aries. This is the year. This is the year. You have to jump deep. You have to let go your arms. Let down your arms. Cancer had to lift up the sword, pick up the sword. You need to let go of the sword. And you need to swim. Open yourself up. Take yoga classes. I don't know what you what you need to do is to, to uh, relieve yourself and, to, and, and, and breathing and spend time with water. Choose love as a focal point for this year. You will be okay. Two is in its upper. You will win everything. But it, it will be in a different way than what you're used to, okay? It will be in a different way than what you're used to. It will be from the heart, not from the mind. Okay, fantastic. So this is the, the, the significance of 2019. This is the overall... Okay, now let's get to the reading. <laughs> Hi, Morgan. January. Are you ready? I am. 